Good morning, happy Thursday. Um, I'm gonna do some, some yoga this morning. It'll be kind of similar to, I don't remember when we did that last, maybe Saturday. Um, so it'll be an hour class. It'll be a little bit more focused on um, power and a little less. Um, I put the playlist at the top, so I don't know why I'm over explaining. Um, you can go ahead and start however you'd like. We'll end up on our backs. So just come to a comfortable space on your mat. Uh, let your body relax. Find some stillness. I'm going to sit down and hit play, and we'll get going. I'm glad it's not raining today. you come to that comfortable space on your mat, just let your body relax. first few moments before we add any movement just make your breath a little bit deeper breathing in through your nose exhaling out however you like through your nose or through your mouth let's do that a few more times deep breath in and let it out And shifting into your ujjayi breath. We're going to add some movement as we shift into that ujjayi breath. Really simple. As you inhale through your nose, just stretch your arms and legs long. And as you exhale through your nose, just let your body relax, kind of get heavier down onto the mat. And we'll do that again. Breathe in, stretch. Add that tension. Exhale through your nose, gently constricting the back of your throat. Let your body relax. Do that just on your own three more times. Inhale. And exhale it out. That ujjayi breath is an audible and powerful breath. It's intended to build heat, which is really helpful when we're not in a hot yoga studio. One more time. And this time as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Take those knees rocking side to side. Press your lower back down. Spinal twist to the right. Drop those knees over to the right side. Knees back through center and switch. Drop them left. Go ahead, knees back to center. Keeping your right knee in at your chest, straighten your left leg out or bend your left knee, plant your foot. Extend your right leg straight up. You can interlace your fingers, take your hands to your hamstring. Maybe you want to straighten your left leg out on the ground or keep it bent, whatever is more comfortable for you. Just gently pressing that right leg straight. Worry more about pressing it straight than pulling it toward you. Maybe rolling your ankle around. Or bending and straightening that leg a few times. Just whatever feels good. Another breath in. Exhale, hug both knees in. Go ahead, keep your left knee in. Extend that left leg straight up, right leg. Either plant your foot or straighten your leg. Gently press that left leg straight. Maybe bending and straightening. Go 
and take a breath in. Exhale, hug those knees into your chest. Good, keeping your right knee in at your chest, extend your left leg to hover above the mat and take your nose to your knee. Next, exhale, bring your left knee back in, relax your upper body and we'll switch. Nose to knee, extend that right leg out to a hover. Good, exhale, knees in, relax your upper body. Now as you inhale, stretch your arms and legs long and lift your head up to hover. Exhale, pull those knees in, nose to knees. Good, breathe and stretch. Exhale, squeeze it in, taking this movement here at your breath rate. Expanding your body on your inhale, contracting on your exhale. Good. Next time your knees are in at your chest, relax that upper body, rock the length of your spine. You're going to make your way up and over onto all fours. So taking those wrists underneath your shoulders or a little bit wider, knees under your hips. So we're not going to take full cow and cat here yet. As you inhale, just let your chest sink down, keeping your elbows straight. And on your exhale, press those shoulder blades up toward the ceiling. Do that again. Just let that chest sink down like you're flossing your body through your arms. Exhale, press those shoulder blades up. Three more times. Really subtle movement. Breathe in. Exhale, press. Good. Two more. Exhale, press. One more time. Exhale, press. Good, come to a neutral spine, keeping your hands on the mat, extend your right leg behind you, press through that heel. So think about one long line from the top of your head to your right heel. Take an inhale here. Exhale, squeeze your right knee to your nose, round through your spine. Inhale, press that right leg back. This exhale, bend your knee and arch back like you're gonna kick yourself in the head. Inhale, extend out. Third exhale, take your chin to the mat, keep those elbows close, lift that right leg higher. Breathe in, press long, that one long line. Exhale, knee in, nose to knee. Inhale, press. Exhale, arch back. Inhale. Exhale, chin dips down. Good, one more time. Breathe it in, press. Squeeze on your exhale. Inhale. Exhale, arch. Good, breathe in. Chin dips down. Good, press it back up as you breathe in and on your exhale, take that knee down, round into cat, full cat. Inhale for cow, belly drops, look up. Exhale, cat. One more time, breathe in for cow. Exhale, cat. Good, come to a neutral spine again. Extend your left leg behind you. Thinking about that one long line from the top of your head to your left heel, take an inhale. Exhale, squeeze your knee in, nose to knee. Inhale, press. Exhale, arch. Breathe it in, press it out. Chin dips down on your exhale. Good, two more times. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathe it in. And out. Once more, inhale and exhale, press, take it back and dip that chin down, good, inhale, press it away and as you exhale, take your knee down around into cat, inhale for cow, exhale cat, one more time, breathe in for cow. Exhale, cat. Good, neutral spine as you inhale, tuck your toes and exhale, your hips go high for down dog. Just move your body however it feels good to move in your down dog. 
Sometimes as you bend one knee, it feels good to cross it in front of your other knee, kind of pressing into that opposite hip, that opposite glute. Good. Breathe it into plank. Giving yourself time here to find that strong, sturdy plank, and you can always modify with knees down. <clears throat> Exhale, hips high, down dog. Good. Inhale, plank. Take it forward or roll it forward. Exhale, take it back. Reverse that roll if you're rolling. Pull from those hips first. Inhale it forward. Exhale it back, down dog. Once more, breathe it in. <clears throat> Exhale, take it back. Good. One simple, smooth vinyasa here. Breathe in, come forward. Chaturanga as you exhale. Untuck your toes, press your body through. Maybe you just want to come to cobra this first time, letting that lower body relax. Exhale your hips high, down dog. Breathe and come right back to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Take your hands wider than your mat. Press into your fingertips. Breathe in, press your upper body up. This time, let that lower half relax. As you exhale, take your nose to the mat, elbows go wide. Good, three times, just press up, breathe in. Lower down, exhale. Twice more, breathe it in. Building a little bit of heat here, exhale it down. Good, one more time. Exhale it down, hands underneath you, tuck those toes, inhale, plank. Exhale, hips go high for down dog. Breathe in, look towards your hands, and as you exhale, take your feet there. Find a forward fold at the top of your mat. We're going to pause there. Soften your knees. You can hold your elbows and sway side to side. Let your knees bend slightly. Or let your arms hang heavy. <clears throat> as you breathe in here, come to a half lift. Press into your shins or reach for the mat. Keep that spine nice and long. Fold deeper on your exhale. Good. Half lift again. Inhale. Maybe reaching those arms forward. Exhale. Fold it deeper. Once more. Half lift. Exhale. Fold deeper. Plant your hands. Step or hop it back for chaturanga. Right back to plank. Inhale. Exhale. Take chaturanga. Inhale. Plank. Exhale, chaturanga, untuck your toes, press it through upward facing dog. Exhale, your hip side, down dog. Take an inhale, look towards your hands. Feet go there, forward fold. This time we'll take two half lifts. Breathe in, half lift. Fold as you exhale. And again, half lift. Exhale, fold, chaturanga. Two push-ups, inhale up. Exhale, two. Press it through. Actually, just two chaturangas, I should say. Hips go high, down dog. Good. Breathe it in. Look forward. Take your feet there. Forward fold. One half lift. Lengthen. Inhale. Exhale. Vinyasa. One chaturanga. Press it through. Take those hips high. Good. As you breathe in, press your heels toward the mat. Exhale, slide to plank. Squeeze your right knee to your nose. Now stay here. Lower your knee down. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, pull that knee back to your nose. Go back to down dog. Both heels press down as you breathe in. Same leg. Right knee in. Exhale. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, pull it up. Once more, down dog. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, lower. This time as you pull it up, plant your foot between your hands. Look forward and step forward for a half lift. Fold it deeper as you exhale. Good. Rise all the way up to standing. Reach high. Take those hands to heart center. Good. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms up. On your exhale, lean to the right. You can cross that left foot in front or behind or keep those feet together, just pressing through your heels. Good. As you inhale, come back to center. Release your hands.
We're gonna twist right, left arm forward, right arm back. <clears throat> Good, step your left leg back, keep your torso twisted. And take those hands behind your head, keeping that upper body twisted. Breathe in, dip to the right. Exhale, dip left, maybe you tap your knee with your elbow. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, right. Exhale, left, plant that left hand down, right arm up, you know where we're going, side plank, open it up. Breathe it in, stack those shoulders, thread the needle as you exhale, hips lift a little bit, reach underneath you, inhale, open it up. Exhale, reach. One more, breathe in. Exhale, reach. Good, open it up as you inhale. Exhale to plank and vinyasa. Good, as you breathe in, press your heels to the mat. Exhale, side to plank, squeeze your left knee in. Lower that knee down, long spine. Pull it right back up. Good, down dog, inhale. Exhale, left knee in. Breathe it in lower and pull it up. Once more, down dog, left knee in. Lower it down, as you lift it up, plant your foot between your hands. Look forward and step forward, half lift. Fold it deeper. Rise to standing, reach high. Hands come to heart center. Interlace those fingers, palms up, then tip over to the left. Taking the same option you did on the other side, so if you crossed in front, cross in front, or just keep those heels pressing down. Good, back to center, release those hands. And we'll twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Step that right leg back for a lunge, keep your torso twisted. Hands come behind your head here, as you inhale, dip to the left. Exhale to the right. Two more, breathe it in. Exhale it out. One more time. Good, exhale it out, plant your hands, left arm up, side plank, open that body up. Stack your shoulders and hips. Thread the needle on your exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Open it up. Exhale, reach. Good, open it up and vinyasa, exhale. Good, take a breath, lift your heels high. As you press them down, walk your hands to your feet. Heavy head and arms, roll up slowly. Take those arms at the top and reach high. Hands to heart center. Go ahead, take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, open up through your chest as you pull those palms together. <clears throat> and forward fold, exhale. Move how it feels good to move right here. Sometimes just bending your knees and then straightening them or twisting. Relaxing through your neck, making little figure eights with your neck. <clears throat> Good. Now if your feet are not set up for chair pose, get a little closer. We're going to keep this bind. Half lift as you breathe in. Stay there on your exhale. And stand all the way up. Sit your hips back. If that bind doesn't work, let the bind go. But sit your hips back for chair pose. Stay in chair, release your bind, reach those arms up. Elbows stay soft, so you're not squeezing your shoulders to your ears. Legs straighten as you inhale, arch it back. Forward fold, exhale. Take a half lift, look forward. Walk it out, chaturanga. We're gonna press right back to plank and open up that right side as you breathe in. Just stack those hips and shoulders. Exhale, chaturanga. Open up your left side, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Good, hips nice and square, take your right leg high. Lift your left heel as you breathe in, just press your left heel down, leave your right leg there. Inhale, lift your left heel. Exhale, press it down. 
Inhale, lift it high. This time as you press it down, pull that right knee to your nose, shift to plank. Stay in your plank. Breathe in, send that right leg back. Press through your heel, that one long line, head to heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Two more, press it back. Exhale it in. Once more, press it back. This time, exhale it in, make some space, plant your foot. Back knee drops down for a low crescent lunge. Press, you can press above your knee, you can reach those arms up. Hands behind your head, whatever you like. Exhale your hips, shift back, straighten out that front leg. Hold over that right leg. Good, inhale, rock forward. Tuck your back toes, lift your knee, and come up to a high crescent lunge. As you exhale, lean forward, lift up that front heel. Good, next exhale, lower your heel, plant your hands, press into those palms, inhale your right leg high, again, nice and square. Leave it high, three-legged plank, shift forward, but keep that right heel pressing up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Your chest comes over your wrists. One more time. Go ahead, exhale, three-legged plank. Stay there, lower your right leg down, breathe in, and vinyasa, exhale. Left leg high. that left leg there. Breathe in, lift your right heel up and just press it to the mat on your exhale. Again, lift it up. And press it down. Good, lift it up. Press it down, knee to nose, shift forward, stay in your plank. Send that left leg back, that one long line. Exhale, squeeze it in. Twice more. One more time. Squeeze it in, make some space, plant your foot. Back knee drops down, find that low crescent lunge. Exhale your hip shift back, fold over that straight left leg. Breathe in, rock forward, tuck your back toes, lift your knee, and rise up to a high lunge. Exhale, lean forward, lift up that front heel. Exhale, hands down, plant them, press into your palms, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Once more, three-legged dog, and three-legged plank. Breathe it in, lower that leg, and vinyasa, exhale. Go ahead and look forward as you breathe in. Take your feet there, find your forward fold. Half lift, fold it deeper. Set your feet up for a chair and rise to standing, reach up. Hands to heart center. Sit those hips back. Keep your chest lifted here. Press your palms together. Reach your arms up so your spine is nice and long. Exhale, we'll twist. Elbow, left elbow outside of your right knee. You're going to lift up your left foot. You're going to touch that left leg back, and then we're going to come right back in. Just touch it back. Bring it right back into chair. Do that twice more, touch it back. Bring it in. One more time. Good, bring it in. Now you're gonna send it back and plant it. Take your left hand inside your right foot, reach your right arm up. Good, exhale, both hands come down and spin your back heel down, look forward. Warrior one, breathe it up. Exhale, lean forward like we did in our crescent lunge. This time lift up both heels.
Good, heels down, back to warrior one, breathe in. Exhale, open your body to warrior two. Take your hands behind your head here, inhaling to the left. Exhaling right, maybe you tap your knee with your elbow. Two more, breathe it in. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. Right forearm to your quad or right hand down, left arm up or over. Breathe it in. Exhale, hands down. Lift your back heel. Sink your hips. Press into those palms. Sweep your right leg high. Open up your hip at the top of that three-legged dog. Your heel can press left. Knee up to the ceiling. Move it around. Whatever you need there. Good. As you breathe in, lengthen through it and press evenly into your palms. Exhale, shift forward, tap your right knee higher than your tricep, squeeze it up closer to your armpit. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, right knee underneath to your left armpit, squeeze it up. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, pull it right down the center, now stay in this plank, send that right leg back. Nice long spine. Exhale, your vinyasa. Move forward, breathe in. Take your feet there. Half lift. Fold it deeper. Good, rise to standing, reach up. Hands come to heart center. Good, feet set up for chair pose. Sit those hips back. Palms pressing together. Nice long spine, reach it up as you breathe in. Good, exhale, we'll twist right elbow outside of your left knee. Take them, taking the weight out of your right heel. You're gonna just touch that right leg back and pull it right back in. Good, two more. Touch it back. Pull it in. One more time. Good, pull it in. Now you'll send it back and plant it. Right hand inside your left foot for a twisted lunge. Breathe it in. Exhale, both hands down. Spin your back heel down, look forward and reach up for warrior one. Exhale, lean forward, both heels lift up. Warrior one, heels lower. Exhale, warrior two. Good, hands behind your head here. Inhale, lean right. Exhale, lean left. Two more. On that third one, come into your extended side angle. Forearm to your quad or left hand down. Right arm up or over. Breathe it in. Exhale, both hands down. Lift your back heel and sink your hips first. Now press into your palms. Left leg goes high. Open hip. Pedal it out. Circle it around. Good, lengthen through it as you breathe in. Press evenly into your palms. Exhale that left knee in towards your left armpit. Pull it higher. Inhale, send it up. Take it underneath. Exhale, pull it higher. Inhale it up. Exhale it right down the center. Now stay there. Send that left leg back, long spine. Exhale, vinyasa. Good, breathe in, heels up, and as you exhale, press them down, walk your hands to your feet. Take your hands behind your head here. Pull your elbows close, tuck your chin to your chest. Feet are set up for chair, roll up slowly. <clears throat> Take those elbows wide as you breathe in. Exhale, sit back into chair, pull your elbows together, press your head into your hands. Good, inhale, stand up. Elbows go wide, bring your right knee with you. Extend that right leg forward. Take a big step forward. High lunge with those hands right behind your head. 
Exhale, lean and fly warrior three left leg lifts. Now press your head into your hands here as you press your left heel up and your toes angled toward the ground. Keep your body where it is, but take your hands to heart center. Breathe in. We're going to slowly lower down. Start to bend your right knee. You're going to lower to a lunge. Go slow. Your hands and your left foot plant and inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Go ahead and take that right leg high. Bend your knee and stack your hip. I'm going to move over so I have the space. You're going to take a really slow transition to wild things. So don't just flip it over. Go as slow as you can. Good. Once you get there, reach that right arm away. Breathe in. Take that right hand. Reach for your left foot and dip your hips down. Do that again. Arch it back. Inhale. Exhale, reach for your foot, hips dip. One more time. Exhale it down. Good, open up as you breathe in. Exhale, you're going to prepare to flip back and then take it back to three-legged dog, right leg high. Step it through as you exhale. Back heel spins down, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Good, breathe into reverse warrior. Exhale, come right back to that extended side angle, but this time reach your arms forward. Don't let your body rest on your leg or your forearm rest on your leg. Keep reaching forward, lift your back heel, pivot your torso parallel to the ground. Warrior three, again, this time with your arms reaching forward. Good. Breathe in. Stand up. Bring your left knee with you. We're going to come to eagle pose. Cross your left leg over. It can rest outside of your right leg. It can hook your calf. Left leg over, so left arm under. Tie yourself up here. Elbows and knees to the center of your body. Sit back and then pull those elbows away. But as you breathe in, we're going to take one more warrior three. Take your arms wide this time, like you're flying. Good. Lower your left leg. Bend your right knee. Warrior one. Breathe in. Exhale. Vinyasa. Three push-ups. Breathe in. Heels up. Press them down, hands to feet. Feet are set up for chair, hands behind your head. Tuck your chin, roll it up slowly. Inhale at the top, elbows go wide. Exhale, sit into chair, pull those elbows close. Breathe in, stand up, bring your left knee with you, take those elbows wide, extend that left leg forward. Big gentle step forward, high lunge. Exhale, lean your body forward and fly, warrior three. Press your head into your hands, press your heel up, toes toward the ground. Keep your body where it is, hands come to heart center as you breathe in. We're going to slowly lower down like an elevator. Good. Your right foot and your hands plant as you inhale and exhale, vinyasa. Take that left leg high, bend your knee and stack your hip and take a slow transition to wild thing. Good. Reach that left arm away. Exhale, left hand comes to your right foot, dip your hips down. Arch it back, breathe in. Exhale it down. Again. Exhale. 
Good, breathe it in. Exhale, you'll prepare to flip it back and inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through. Back heel down, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Breathe into reverse. Exhale, extended side angle, but reach those arms forward. Lift that back heel up. Pivot your torso parallel. Keep reaching forward, warrior three, right leg lifts. Good, stand up. Right knee over, right arm under. Find your eagle pose. Pull those knees and elbows to the center. Then elbows away from your knees. Good, unwrap it all. Warrior three, arms to the side. Leg lowers, warrior one, breathe in. Exhale, vinyasa. I hope you're sweating, I'm sweating. Three push-ups. I forgot, sorry. Good, right leg high. Exhale, take that right knee underneath to your left tricep. Inhale, send it high. Same thing, exhale it underneath, pull it higher. Inhale it high. Exhale it underneath, kick it out. Spin your back heel down, peel that left arm open, fall in triangle, but maybe you wanna let your right leg hover. Or reach your left hand for your right foot. Good, breathe in where you are. Exhale your hands down, knee in, foot plants. Warrior one. Can't talk very well, sorry. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten that right leg. Reach your right arm up and back. Left hand can press your left hip forward. Good, come back to T arms. Triangle pose, lean forward. Your legs stay straight, tip or tilted down. Maybe you wanna half bind this. Left arm can drop. Just keep that left shoulder from caving forward. Sometimes people like to full bind this like you would an extended side angle. <clears throat> Breathe it in. Exhale, we'll switch hands. Left hand down, shorten your stance if you need. Right arm up, revolve triangle. <clears throat> Exhale for pyramid. Both hands come down. Fold over that straight right leg. Breathe in for a half lift. Soften your right knee enough to take your hands flat. Send your left leg high. And we're going to switch legs so you give that right hamstring a break. Lower your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Standing split. Although allow your hip to open. We're going to open this to balancing half moon. Left hand comes in front of your left foot. Right arm peels open. Your exhale is going to take you to warrior two. Lower that leg. Flip your front palm and reverse warrior as you breathe in. Exhale, vinyasa. <coughs> you can take those three if you want. Left leg goes high. Breathe it in. Left knee, right tricep as you exhale. Or squeeze it a little higher. Inhale it up. Exhale it under. One more time. Send it up. Exhale it under. Kick it out. Spin your back heel down. Feel that right side open. Maybe you let your left leg hover. Maybe you reach for your left foot with your right hand.
Good, breathe it in. Exhale, hand down, knee in. Put plants. Warrior one, breathe in. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten your left leg. Reverse triangle or sky archer. Lean back, press that right hip forward. Good, exhale, torso comes back up, lean it forward. Tilt or tip it into triangle pose. Left hand down, right arm up. Maybe half bind. Maybe play with that full bind. Just keep that right shoulder from caving forward. Breathe it in here. Exhale, we're gonna switch hands. Right hand down, shorten your stance if you need. Send that left arm up, revolve triangle. Pyramid as you exhale. <coughs> Fold over that straight left leg. Inhale, half lift. Soften your left knee. Hands come down, send your right leg high. And we're gonna switch legs. Right leg down, left leg up. Allow that hip to open up a little bit as you peel this open to balancing half moon. Right hand comes in front of your right foot. Left arm up, stack hips and shoulders. <clears throat> Good, exhale, lower that left leg down, warrior two, and breathe in to reverse. Vinyasa as you exhale. Good. Keeping those hips square. We're squaring them again here as you inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, three legged plank, shift it forward. Breathe it in, three legged dog. Three legged plank, exhale. Three legged dog. Good. Three legged plank, knee in, plant your foot between your hands. Look forward and stand up. Bring your left knee with you. Left hand to your left knee or left piece fingers to your left big toe. Extend that left leg straight in front of you. Right hand can be wherever you want here, whatever helps. If you want to take both hands to your left foot, you can take both hands to your left foot. Good, and with your knee bent or your leg straight, open that left leg out to the side. Good, now bend your knee if it's not bent already. Reach for your left foot with your left arm behind you. Tuck your left knee down. Right arm up, we're gonna take this into dancer. Extend that left leg back. Good, tip it down. Once your right hand hits, let go of that left foot. Extend your left leg high for a standing split. We're gonna step way back for a lunge. Left hand inside that right foot. Reach your right arm up, breathe in. Exhale, prepare to open to side plank. Maybe reach for that right big toe and open it up. If you wanna keep opening it for wild thing, feel free. I like that pose from side plank. Or just stay right here. Good. You're going to come back to your lunge. So step that right foot forward again. You're going to stand up and face the wide side of your mat. You make a big X with your body. Exhale, find a wide forward fold. Take what you want or need right there in that pose.
Good. Breathe in for a half lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Go to your left leg. You'll go to the back. I'm coming back to the front just so you can see if you need, but you don't have to see me. Arms up for a high crescent lunge. Exhaling your torso forward and fly warrior three, but take your arms out to the side like we did after our eagle warrior three. Breathe it in. Exhale, you're going to take your right knee behind the left, hands to heart center, and tuck it down. Good. Inhale, open it up like you're flying. Exhale, tuck it down. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, get as low as you can. Keep going down all the way. Maybe your hands touch, maybe they hover. Maybe that right shin hovers. Good, now take your hands down, send your right leg high for a breath, and you'll take your transition to down dog. Good, facing the back, your hips are square, keep them square, left leg high. Three-legged plank as you exhale, just shift your chest forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. One more time, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank, knee in, plant your foot, look forward. Stand up, bring your right knee with you. Right hand to your right knee, or right piece fingers to your right big toe, extend that right leg in front. Left hand can be wherever you want. Maybe you want to reach for that right foot with both hands. Open that right leg or that right knee out to the side. Good. Bend your knee. Reach for your right foot with your right hand. Let your knee tuck down. Now press your foot into your hand, lift into dancer. Take a slow transition down. Both hands come down, send that right leg high. Step it way back for a lunge. Right hand inside your left foot will twist for a breath. Then prepare to open up, maybe hand to big toe side plank. Open that left side up for side plank. If you want to keep opening it up, feel free to take it to wild thing. Good, we'll come back to our lunge. Bring that left foot forward. Stand up, place the wide side of your mat. Make a big X. Wide forward fold as you exhale. Take what you want and need right there. Okay, breathe in here for a half lift. So you're going to exhale, fold deeper, come back to the front. Your right leg is in front. High crescent lunge, arms up, inhale. Exhale, lean forward and fly, warrior three. Arms out to the side as you breathe in. Exhale, tuck that left knee behind and tuck it down. Inhale, open it up. Exhale it down. Good, inhale, open it up. Exhale it down and get low, lower, lower to the mat. Good. Plant those hands, send your left leg high for a breath, and exhale your journey to down dog. Good. Breathe in, look forward, take your feet there, find a forward fold. Three half lifts, inhale, exhale, fold. Two more. Breathe it in. Fold, exhale. One more. Half lift. This exhale is going to take you to chaturanga three times. Exhale. Good. Press it up. Lower down. 
Press it up. Lower down. Press your body through, upward facing dog. Exhale, your hips go high, down dog. We're gonna take one last vinyasa, breathe it into plank, chaturanga. Press it through. Hips go high. And child pose. And make your way onto your seat. <clears throat> Cross that right leg over your left. Left leg can be straight or you can tuck it in. We're coming to shoelace pose. If instead you'd rather just twist, you can twist to the right. Otherwise, stacking your knees. If you want to involve your upper body, since that right leg's on top, take your right arm up, take your left arm down. Meet your hands in the center. Cow face arms. You can lean back or you can lean forward. You can twist in this pose. Whatever you need, find some stillness and stay right there. Again, your bottom leg can be straight. It doesn't have to be tucked in. Releasing from that side, you're going to switch sides. <clears throat> if you want to involve that upper body, since that left leg's on top, your left arm is up.
making your way onto your back. And once you get there, just sealing up your practice however you need. Anything you want, any poses, any movement. Making your way to your Shavasana, finding some stillness, letting your body relax. Bringing some movement back to your body. I read this to my class this morning. I'm going to read it right now too. I think it's <laughs> probably written for me. Rather than being disheartened by the uncertainty of life, what if we accepted it and relaxed into it? What if we said, yes, this is the way it is. This is what it means to be human and decided to sit down and enjoy the ride. Making your way up to a comfortable seat. Sitting up tall, we'll breathe in together, arms reach high, hands to heart as you exhale. With love and gratitude, from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm exceptionally grateful for the community of yoga, even though we're not together in person. Um, I enjoy seeing all of you who are watching and practicing with me, and that uh, keeps me going. So. Enjoy your Thursday.